forward. I just did a few steps forward and a few steps back running. Can you feel it? See, you may not be able to see it when somebody's running, but you could feel it, that you're actually dropping your feet behind to go forward and dropping your feet in front to go backwards, right? Okay, so uh, a, a sprinter drops his feet more to the rear than other people and keeps it up for more, for more steps than uh, the other people, and that's the way you win a race. The one who reaches ahead the least in a race always wins the race. It's the physics for how to do it. Uh, so uh, that's the mechanics uh, for running. And what happens is that as you pick up speed, um, your foot keeps going back higher and higher uh, until you're sprinting like that. And I'm going to show you the way it looks. Stand this way over here and watch me run across. <coughs> Now, in a sprint, you've got to stay low like that because you tend to, to push your body forward uh, by going this way and you ruin your hamstrings like I once did. <laughs> uh, but uh, So you've got to stay low like this here and make sure that the foot doesn't go back uh, to, uh, to jerk your hamstring muscles. Okay, and here's the way it looks. I, 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 my legs will keep going, be going higher and higher as I go faster. Now, now I'm not trying to lengthen the stride. I'm uh, working hard with a body twist to exchange my feet faster. But when the, the vault is happening so fast, uh, you, you catch it over here in order to reverse it. So uh, you can't catch it in time. And uh, so the lengthening of the stride actually holds you back from increasing the speed. Uh, in, in a, uh, because when, uh, when you lengthen your stride, let's say I start out with a long stride. I go like this here. I can't go any faster at, at, at all uh, with, with lengthening my stride. I can only go faster by keeping it short and, and the speed make it, uh, making the feet spread apart more. Okay. Now, uh, okay, now you can see that the leg acts like a vaulting pole. The foot stays in place for an instant while the top of the leg carries a vertical or a tilted body from behind the foot to in front of the foot. You can run just as fast with a vertical body as you can with a tilted body, but a, a vertical body is easier on the back muscles and and the, and the spine. Oh, so, a what? There's a runner. That's okay. Uh, it's okay if you pass it by even uh, while we're shooting. Okay, now, the top of the leg uh, ca uh, carrying uh, the body resting on the top of the leg never stops moving forward. The feet have to be exchanged at a rate uh, and uh, to, keep, uh, to keep up the pace of the body moving forward. So, um, so what happens, you don't have to twist hard when you're running easy. Uh, you, you could just be twisting like this. A medium stride is best for slower running. Uh, and uh, of course, as you pick up speed, as the spread apart gets, uh, gets greater. Okay, now it, it is important to know about the vault because that would fool the scientists and all the coaches and everyone else uh, with the vault because they see that the, the foot is ahead of the body when you land, and they figure you have to be pushing against gravity because gravity holds you back when your foot is ahead. Uh, but that's not the case at all. Uh, gravity doesn't stop you 
momentum carries you up to the vertical point and then gravity and momentum continue you on uh, when you fall forward. And if you run uh, at a medium stride and don't change your stride, you can run just as fast pushing yourself forward as you can just standing without pushing yourself forward. See, so pushing yourself forward doesn't work at all because the opposite muscles are used to absorb the landing and toss you up. So the thing that fooled the experts on why you use the back muscles across the butt to bring the leg back like that is that it does work hard but only because the body lurches every time you land. So it uh, pulls the body back and it has a heavy uh, force to pull back just across over here. So uh, the leverage is really great that way. So uh, now, um, so uh, what I'd like you to do is try to run um, forward without pushing yourself just by standing and then take one turn uh, trying to push yourself with the same stride. Uh, just, just, just a normal stride like this here. Uh, all of you could do it together. Just try it without pushing yourself and then try it with pushing yourself. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Uh, the, the tape is over here and over there, so you got to do it in front of the camera. Okay. See, now, now try it pushing as hard as you could with the same stride. You don't go any faster. See, okay. So it's just a matter of standing and letting gravity pull you forward.